Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Copper Owl, bringing you a... What is it called? The Rebel Mech video from Busby Toys. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing the gloves, but I'll get to that in a second. Got this video. I got this blaster for $7.99 at Goodwill. Okay. Came with the darts, which are all scattered around the floor of my car because I was testing it in my car when I bought it. It came with the drum and it came with the batteries. Okay, and I have my little grade sheet right here to test. And the reason why there's a lamp over there is because an out. The reason why it also pertains to the reason why I haven't uploaded a video other than some shorts is because one of my outlets got blown out. Taking out my AC. It's the only outlet in this room that I, I do this stuff in. So, yeah. I got burned out. I had to replace it. But I had to wait a little while because it's also behind like a big piece of furniture. It was this whole thing to deal with. Now I kind of now I, I kind of got it. I got it fixed, but I need to get an extension cord so that this doesn't happen again. But yeah, let's but let's get to the blaster. So $7.99 at Goodwill takes four double A's. Surprisingly, I thought this took more. And usually retails for $25. It is like a strife and semi-auto, but it has this on and off switch. Now that, and I love this because it feels like a, the selector switch on an AK. This whole blaster, I thought I was like, I'm going to only like the drum. But after messing with it, this is like an, an AK, which is a shorter barrel. And no stock, no stock. So, I like it, but at the same time, it's kind of funky because it's too thick. There's this. I, I assume this is a storage area. I don't know. I'm putting a dart inside to see if it even fits. Yeah, it fits. But why would you need that? I, I honestly do not know what this is for. And it comes with this. 30 round drum and what's neat about it it's bigger than the 25 round drums you get from nerf and th I think this is neat about it but it's also kind of dumb it's backwards you you can't see the ammo your opponent can see the ammo so you can't even bluff in a nerf war you got your opponent corner it's also freaking thick okay this thing will not fit in several blasters. It barely fits the flight, but you gotta like jam it in there for the flight. It fits the regulator, it fits the strife, it even fits the mediator, but it doesn't fit the um, evader, it doesn't fit the rapid strike, it fits the hyperfire. Um, it, I don't think it fits the rapid strike, it, I heard it doesn't, but I didn't bother to test it with mine, and I haven't bothered to test if it works on my on the Phoenix either. I don't know that. Now with the gloves, well I'm wearing them is because this thing doesn't have a trigger well. It just has an ex exposed trigger. And me being a guy who kind of likes to be my costume, I really enjoy this. I do need to get thinner gloves for my other blasters, but yeah. It's also fairly loud. Makes it powerful though. All that. So let's go through the gating. Move the camera. FPS. I have no idea. This is one of the benefits of the blaster. It's not a narrow tube. It's open. As soon as they go out, it's an open tube. And it's so it's not getting as much. It's not getting any interference. No drag. That's what I'm trying to say. But because of that, I can't measure it. And I've seen videos, and I've seen somewhere between the standard, like, I, I've seen somewhere between 60 and 90 feet per second. So, we're, I'm going to just say it's okay, because it's dependent on whichever one you get. Because it seems to be there might be a factory flaw with these things. So, I'm going to put it on the okay. Comfort. Well, I could wear this... With my belt, with my gloves, and it and it has the ergonomics of like an AK to me. 
and it doesn't it's not it doesn't feel front heavy and I assume it's because the batteries are right on top of you and all that but the drum kind of gets in the way because if you use a different mag it doesn't matter and all that so I don't think this is ergonomically bad you just can't shoulder holster it or anything and it's just too big to be a like a strife it's not like a pistol it just feels like a short barreled rifle and all that so I'm also going to put that as okay Accessories? None. So, it doesn't necessarily need the accessories, but at the same time, it's like, I cannot put my... rock. It's a Busby toy, so it probably might not have been compatible with the Nerf pro products. So that so that's the problem. I can't put my Mega Dart attachment or my rocket. So I'm going to put that as the bad, because I would just rather use the Strife if, I, if those were needed. No sling attachment. So I put that as a bad price. For $25, it's, it's okay. And all that. It's sure better than the Phoenix, which was the same price. I'll give it that. And I got it for $8. So I say the price is good. Practicality. It's pretty good. It's like a Strife, but it comes with this 30 round drum mag. And technically storage and all that and profile. Though it fe though ergonomically it feels like an AK, it looks nothing like an AK. This thing looks like a toy painted all black. It still looks like a toy. It looks like something from the that Spider-Man cartoon show from the future where he goes to the future or BattleTech. This thing looks like something that would be in BattleTech. Okay. So I'll say the profile is good. Tactics. What well, tactics is like, yeah, it's small, it's compact. It possibly has good uh, FPS looks. It looks pretty good too. Again, it looks like something from a 90s cartoon show. And I love that. It just gives me like this, um, like, what is it called? Starfarer, Battletech, Spider-Man, and all that. Modability. I have no idea if you can mod this thing. And I don't know if you would want to. And all that. I don't... I might not even paint it either. Like, I like it the way it looks with its colors. I'm going to say that's okay because I don't know... Let's get and the results. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Two. Three. Obviously, this is a good blaster. Absolutely great. Great drum. Good performance. It's really smooth in the trigger pull. It's neat that I don't have to rev up the thing. It's, it's loud. That's one of the problems. But I love the feel of this thing, too. I do not recommend this blaster. Absolutely do not. If you're going to buy this blaster, you're buying it for the drum. Yeah. After playing with it, I decided to check out the batteries, see how they looked, to make sure they weren't corroded, get a little bit of that white stuff on them, but it was perfectly fine, close it up, it did not work. It did not work for several hours until I just smacked it right here on the side, and then it started working. Let's make sure, like, I'm gonna smack it right now. Okay, it works. But it wasn't working for several hours. They considered throwing it away. So I don't know why. It, it probably is a wiring thing and all that. So. And I've heard, like, they do have differences in um, feet per second and everything. So I'm thinking, whatever's wrong with this thing, it could affect the outcome of an R4. If this thing just stops working, yeah. So I won't, because of that, it's unreliable and everything like that.
And I'm gonna start using that as like a thing with practicality. I believe, I guess, because so it still would have been more on the side of good, tied with okay. But yeah, if I find a flaw like that, but because it did that for too long, I will not recommend this blaster. If it was like maybe I put in the magazine wrong, which sometimes happens, or maybe it's like the batteries cut. The, the batteries, something wrong with the batteries thing or something. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Once I have a bla I had a blaster that didn't work, I just moved the batteries around. Worked perfectly fine. There's a spider on my desk. Fight me. Come on, fight me. Da -da 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 okay, you all have a nice night. Bye-bye.